big predictions. Film of the year. Who's it going to go to? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Yeah. I mean, La La Land's the favorite. You're, you're winning La La Land, yeah. I and I did seen any see it, and I did like it. So you did. I know a I lot of people it. hate it. Yeah, I haven't seen it. It's on the list. <laughs> Definitely on the list. We'll see if it wins. Well, there were palm trees and blue skies <laughs> in that video from LA. Far from that here. <laughs> yes, we had. Uh, we were skirting with the chance for some snow in Portland, but we did have some at the higher elevations. This is some video from Lake Oswego today, about 850 feet early this morning. Some snow fall, and then we had snow just about uh, on all the higher elevations as well. So hey, I want to take you out to what we have going on right now. We do have a winter weather advisory for the Cascades and into the Blue Mountains and the Wallawa Mountains. We'll start with the Cascades because this is only till 7 o'clock, so we have about an hour left, but still some lingering snowfalls possible as we head into the next couple of hours. Better shot for snow is going to be on the east side of the state, so all of you folks there in Pendleton, if you're traveling through 84 in the higher elevation, some of the passes there, about 5 to 10 inches of snowfall tonight all the way through till about Tuesday, so that's going to be on and off. Sandy Ann Pass, always one of those spots where we see some heavy snowfall. It's glazed over right now, so traveling at US 20 is going to be a little tricky and a little troublesome at this time. But some spots that have improved, we have some ski back up. Look at this, tons of cars here from skiing today. Great day to be up there. So the roads there right around Government Camp on US 26, though, are definitely improving at this time. So here's the big system right here. It's moving in a counterclockwise flow. It's called cyclonic flow. That's the area of low pressure that's moving down to the south. And it's kind of petering out at least the snowfall for the coast range, but it's going to continue to drive some rain showers through the valley as we go into this evening. So if you do have a little bit of some plans to get out, do some dinner, something like that for your Sunday evening, uh, be ready for some rain. So we have the onshore flow going on here. So it's picking up the moisture along with it off the Pacific and it's moving it through right into the valley at this time. So radar right now, this is current. So this is at 613. We're seeing some rain showers is returning back through the radar. Again, these are moving off to the east. Parts of the gorge right now, some light rain showers, but mainly starting to dry up at this time. So, hey, let me take you through the Riverview Community Bank time lapse. We had rain showers through the overnight. Maybe a few snowflakes tried to work their way on through, uh, but by the time we got into the afternoon, nothing but some sun breaks out there. And we'll continue to see those scattered showers as we head into the evening. So 7 o'clock to about 9, temperatures in the lower 40s, possibly a quick splash as we head into this evening. So here's what we're looking at as we move forward in time. This is 7.30 tonight. Notice that we dry up for a good portion of our evening. We get into tomorrow morning, maybe some lingering moisture, a little bit of energy kind of hanging out. Uh, that could bring in a few snowflakes tomorrow morning. I think we'll stay warm enough here through the valley, but it could mix in for your Monday morning commute. So keep that in mind, maybe leave a little bit earlier. We get into the afternoon, some scattered showers, some heavy downpours at times, but most of us should just see uh, on and off rain showers throughout the day. We get into our Tuesday morning and next system moves on in and that's going to provide us with some more rain as we head into our Tuesday morning and into our Tuesday evening. Let me take you to the seven day forecast because there are some moments there where you'll have some time to get out and kind of stay away from the rain. That's going to be Wednesday and into Thursday. Temperatures right around 50 degrees on Wednesday, Thursday 48 and then we're back into the wet weather on Friday. So we're going to wrap up February with some showers and likely kind of start uh, March with some rain as well. What a winter. It's Snow, been we got it all. So wet. Yeah, we've right. broke a record. Over 10 inches of rain here in Portland so far. Amazing. Quite yeah. the record. Yeah. All right, to sports where the